All right, so for this, you guys are just going to stare at Dong Su. I don't even like him, but I lost this run, and he's just going to look at us in disgust for today's video. It's going to be very short. Uh, I'd like to report on uh, or talk about something I reported on earlier. So long story short, if you didn't see that other video, uh, there was nothing incorrect with the video. Uh, it basically was a report that the servers will be linking later on. Now, I, I did not add this tiny piece of, uh, well, depending on who you ask, maybe a major piece. Of clarification and i wanted to do that here today so <clears throat> first and foremost go check that other video out it's linked down below in the description but again the basic point is that there's no reason to wait to get started with solo leveling rise because the game is out right now in certain regions and people are like myself able to play and um a lot of people are waiting for may i think it's may 9th or something like that when the game will launch in the other parts of the world that it's not currently and that's perfectly fine but the problem with that wound up being that when we got confirmation earlier today that they're going to be merging the servers into one, like, for example, I'm playing on, I think my account was created on a Thailand uh, application. So anyway, uh, when we got confirmation that they're going to merge and you'd be able to interact, like, say, like, you created an account, whoever you listening, right? You created an account and I wanted to add you as a friend. You would be able to do that, things like that. It wouldn't be like saying I'm on a different server. I don't exist like some games would. Um, but that created the situation where people are upset about it. Some people are happy about it. Some people are upset. The people that are happy about it are mostly saying, oh, that's a W because I get to keep my account. Uh, they're misunderstanding the fact that you were never going to lose the account in the first place. The account was always going to maintain because if this isn't a beta. This is a, a early launch, a soft launch, early access, whatever you want to call it. The game is out officially. This is not a beta. You were never going to lose that account. So as long as you binded it to one of your or bound it to one of your email accounts, you were always going to keep it. Uh, but then people were also upset saying that uh, because I brought up the idea that, uh, you know, maybe if you start playing, since the game does have leaderboards, there will also eventually probably be some sort of ranking systems that are extending beyond that into other content that people will really care about. Uh, maybe there will even be co-op or PvP. I don't know about those things. There isn't as far as I can tell currently. Uh, but I brought up the idea that if you wait, you're going to get behind, which is still true because there's no reason to wait unless you just flat out don't want to jump through any hoops a little bit it's not even that hard a little bit to get it done right or unless you just simply don't have the means to which is a possibility uh but i wanted to also add in the idea that uh you may not be at as big of a disadvantage as you may believe if you decide to wait now again players that are playing now will still technically have an advantage and content that's being published now will not be relevant for you for a while. And by that time, people that are publishing content now will probably be publishing later content that won't be relevant for you. But again, that's not a huge deal. Um, but I wanted to introduce the idea that it probably winds up being something like a shard based system. Now, if you've played other games um, that have a similar system, you know what I'm talking about, where while everyone is on the same server, you can intermingle with other players. It doesn't matter who they are, when they started the game, what server they're on. If it's all on one server, you can you can add them. And if the game had a chat function, you could chat with them, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. But <clears throat> when it came down to ranking systems like leaderboards or other things like that, they put you in a shard, which is players that started around the same time as you right now again depending on the game structure that system looks a little bit differently from what i can tell with this game i can actually just go back to the lobby to kind of bring this up from what i can tell with this game it doesn't appear to really matter all that much there's not a ton really happening with the game that really would uh, i'm going to turn that off because it's distracting me there's not a ton that would really impact that but some people are going to want to get the rewards right so what does that look like right now uh it would be basically if you're not following a, a shard is basically a group or a lobby of players that started around the same time as you versus putting you into the entire general pool of players that play the game on that server in fact a lot of games do that anyway where they where they have again chunks of players in a certain area and there, there are other games that are gonna just basically have it as the entire global world and then the asian country countries is that the right word the asian locations like japan are going to be on their own server so that's how a lot of uh, games will also handle so if we come over to the events tab here, and these are the only real events currently ongoing, uh, we kind of already are placed into groups a little bit. So you can kind of see that currently where it's like you're in a group and uh, these are other players that are playing right now, obviously. But are these going to be the, like if I get added into other groups, are these going to be pulled from the same overall group of players 
in the future for me personally or would it be introducing some of you guys that are not playing right now is the question and i'm here to tell you that a lot of games would just kind of keep me with these same players that started when i did and not mix me because of how unfair it could potentially be for you with you guys right so that's how that would kind of work a lot of the time now uh when it comes down to it while you can add players uh, things like that there's not a lot of like communal aspects to it all too much right now but while you can add players then if in the future one of these unannounced modes winds up being co-op or pvp would i be able to play with you i'd assume with co-op there would be no restriction but pvp may or may not have a restriction some games do that some games don't it just depends on you know what the game is i played so many gacha games and a lot of them uh, whether they're american or, or like japanese korean doesn't matter um, they handle this type of stuff very differently. So I wanted to kind of make sure that people understood that. So to summarize, while they did announce that the, and I don't think there's, by the way, some people were saying, oh, I don't believe that a support person would have that information. Uh, the way it works from somebody that's myself, that's worked on the other side as a support person for a company, a big company before, is that they give you basically a list of articles. And typically when you respond to an email or something like that, you just go copy paste the information straight out of the article to let that person know exactly how that works, right? So basically I, there's the chances of that information that the support article or that the support response had where they said that everything will be on one server. Uh, the chances of that being wrong are extremely slim. Also, a friend of mine brought up the, the idea for me, and I wanted to add it here, that um, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross has a server selector on the login screen. This game doesn't. So they probably were always, and it, I mean, that does lend to what I just said, but they probably never were going to even have any separations with servers and stuff like that. But basically, within the server, there will be subsections of players, most likely, it still remains to be seen, but most likely subsections of players getting different rewards at different times and playing around players that played or started when they started so keep that in mind i wanted to just kind of clear the air on that talk about that because again uh that was a hot topic and as i saw and i respond to a lot of comments so if you leave a comment i'll probably respond to you as i saw the comments coming in i wanted to say hey there's a possibility that it works differently than you are thinking because some of the people were very upset. Some people were saying this is an, a W for the or an L for the game, and it was just going to kill the game, and this and that. And I wanted to temper some of those thoughts. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't checked out the initial video, which again, the information in it is still good information. It's just I didn't bring up this one thing as a possibility. If you want to check it out, that video will pop up on the screen in a moment. So the last thing I wanted to say is the events are about to start ending and starting. It's kind of weird. So these events, I don't think you, somebody told me you don't see these until you hit level 30. So maybe you don't see, but uh, that would explain why I didn't see some of these because it kind of sucks. Like this one here is for leveling up Jin Woo and his weapons and stuff. This one kind of sucks considering I started leveling up his weapons and stuff, uh, you know, than he hit level 30 so if you are in a position where you can maybe wait it out you probably should but this event ends in a day and a couple hours so not a lot of time to do that anyway uh but this one here is going to end in about three hours so this is a group ranking system that does also offer rank rewards and group rewards based on where you're at so just and this is why again like playing with players that are further ahead of you could be a problem because when they say overall rank and it's going to be like the entire server or things like that it, it could be really problematic because you're never going to get rank one you have to spend an ungodly amount of money to make like two months time period right it is not getting it um you would have to spend money to get rank one even if you start at the same time but <laughs> but you get the point right so that's kind of how things are but this event is ending soon to so make sure that you are getting in your gates before it ends i actually got a decent number of gates done i'm 29th out of 100 in my group could i, I still have like another eight keys so i'm gonna do that but it, just for context it's extremely hard to get down here for the number of points without obviously spending a lot of money so all right guys thank you for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one